What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are at one of our, I don't know, we claim a lot of home parks these days, but this is Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. We're here around 3.30 on a Sunday in June. And uh, we're kind of just gonna explore, ride some rides. The food and wine festival's going on. And we were actually here for a couple hours yesterday. We got on four coasters yesterday. Yep, uh, Bolton, yeah. Papa Guys. Griffin, and we had last ride of the night on Pantheon. For Bolton, we waited about 20 minutes, yeah. even though it said it was like a 60 minute wait. So that worked out really nicely. Everything was running great. Uh, obviously the B&Ms are higher capacity, so we really didn't have to wait for those too much. And uh, even our last ride of the night on Pantheon is just, you know, maybe a 10 minute wait, so. Yeah, so being a Saturday night, I expected it to be a lot busier and like the ride lines to be a lot longer, but it yeah. seemed like a lot of like the wait times that were showing were definitely not accurate for how long the actual line was. So I think yeah. that deterred a lot of people to not wait yeah, in line. Get, not get in. But also it cleared out because we, we were in there a little bit later, which was nice. It was, wasn't so hot and uh, Really, the last two hours of the park are, you know, some of the best times to be here. It was up until 10 o'clock last night, so we got all, some good rides in, and we also ate some food at, at Food and Wine. Yes, we did, yeah, yes, that's where we started with, and we did the moonshine, and shrimp apple cider. God, it was all pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think the tacos are my favorite. Yeah, think you think the yeah, the beignets are really good, uh, in French Quarter near Griffin. So we'll see if we do anything different tonight. We're heading to the park now. The park's up until eight o'clock tonight, and we'll see what we can get into. Why don't you guys come along and check it out with us? people are coming out which is good uh, they actually are renovating the Squires Grill back here let's check it out real quick so just behind Big Ben here they've always had this Squires Grill that is getting some work done it looks really nice uh, I can't say I've ever eaten here I guess it's like traditional English food and I know they had funnel cakes and some other stuff back here so be nice when this reopens all right we're off to a good start we got one of our free fountain drinks yeah. which is nice and I picked up some merch that I had my eyes on mm -hmm. from yesterday. But we're heading towards Apollo's maybe. If Pompeii's running, maybe I'll get on Pompeii. Gotta do my annual ride. All right, Olivia bailed on me solo dolo on Pompeii. Hopefully I don't get too wet. I got shoes that are not kind to wetness. Ooh, there's kind of a line here. Such a classic. I'm hoping the effects are working. We'll find out here shortly. Got the GoPro. Let's do it. the effects weren't working very well so that's kind of a bummer yeah no flashover effect even the second room the fire was kind of minimal so a little sad but still a great ride hopefully it sticks around and maybe they fix some things i mean god it still draws a good line it's a good way to cool off all right just got a line over at apollo's chariots one of our all-time favorites and we didn't get to ride last night so let's see how she's running
Robert. Back to line. I was drinking Paul's chariot. So good. Yeah, it's always awesome in the back. Yeah. Still holds up just like with any of the other hypers, the uh, BNM hypers. And uh, yeah, it's really smooth. Great airtime. It's an awesome ride. Wow, South Korea is bumping. It is smoking. All right. The ribs would be up my alley. I don't think I'm going to do it right now, though. We're not super hungry. cover on top of the brake run for Nessie. It's kind of nice for sitting out in the hot sun. If you're stacking trains, guys, it's beautiful out here. Uh, hear the new audio on Nessie. I'm definitely getting on that later. Finian's flyer running bus sides, looking good. We're heading into Ireland. What's up, dudes? Oh, the wolves are out. The wolves are out. The one that's standing on top is the one that's being protective of the one that is laying down. That is the complete opposite of actually what's going on. Uh, they are kind of just communicating who's in charge. <laughs> so when Anoki went over and stood over Denali, Anoki was actually communicating of like, hey, I want to be the dominant one. What are you going to do? And Denali's like, absolutely not. I'm the more dominant. However, I don't want to start a fight, so let's just start playing instead. So that's why he switched over to the zoomies. All right, we're heading over to Mexico booth to get some tacos. We actually got these last night and they were delicious. We did a trio last night, but we're doing the barbecue pork and the Christmas shrimp. Tacos, round two. They were super good last night. So we were on the other side of Skyride, but there's nobody in line. We should jump on them. Tacos were good, and we jumped in line for the sky ride. Nobody in line, really. We're heading to Germany. Maybe get some good views of Griffin, uh, Alpengeist. Crispy shrimp was shrimpy. So good. Nice. For yeah. Being, like a, a seafood, like food booth item, really good. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm sure it can get fishy pretty quickly. Yeah. The uh, we had the trio last night, and I would definitely recommend the pork over the beef. Yeah, the park again today, that was good. It's probably our favorite booth so far. Alpi, looking great with the new paint. Ooh, there she goes. Nice. Land of the Dragos. Ooh, messy. Just missed her. Oh, coming in. Ah, oh, the line here is much longer. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Thank you. Oh man, we made bets on the wait time. Nobody had 60 minutes. I had 45. Wait, did I say 45 or 50? Bar Castle. I think Olivia's gonna try out the Paloma. Some good drinks here though. Bush Gardens has stepped up their merch. Look at these pennants they have for new and old attractions. Look at this big bad wolf one. They're 45 freaking dollars, but I think I might need one. They got Wild Mouse up here, a bunch of retired rides. Lock Ness looks really cool. Roman Rapids, they got more on this other side. Corkscrew Hill, the Sky Ride, Questor, Griffin. Oh, there's a drop and fire down there. So cool. Coaster cutouts, nano coasters. This is a cool coaster cutout, the Sky Ride. 
and they're up in their game a little bit. And then they also have the Nessie plush. That's so awesome. My brother had one of these growing up. This is a classic. All right, we're in the Fest House. We're gonna see if the brew house is open. I'm prepared myself to be disappointed. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, it's open. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. This is the spot. Awesome. Appreciate it, Russ. Have a good one. You too. I got the Pocahontas. Yes. American IPA. Got some local uh, merch dealers over here. Artisans, what, call them what you will, jewelry. And uh, kettle corn people over here. Fire tried kettle corn company. And I think we might test out some kettle corn. Fire tried kettle corn. We got white cheds. Oh Pretty good. So good. <laughs> Benvenuto San Marco. Ooh, they're playing the duo. Oh, the trio. Di Roma. It's supposed to be the six o'clock. This dude is a freaking legend. Nino, such an awesome guy. We've chatted with him a couple times. Literally seen him here for the last uh, my entire life coming here, and he sits over here. He's a great guy. Uh, we missed him today on this visit, but next time hopefully. Hand crafts all this, paints it. Oh, it's awesome to watch. And he remembers people. He literally remembers us from the last visit. It's crazy. All right, we're in San Marco. I've never eaten over here, but we're trying some orange chicken. Looks pretty good. It's not, not too bad. It's kind of fresh. It's somewhat good. fresh. On fried rice. All right, we'll, we'll try her out. All right, we're sampling some orange chicken. This ain't part of the event, but we saw it last time. Yeah. And we wanted to try it, so might as well. Orange chicken, fire. So good, like yeah. surprisingly very good. It's fresh, the rice was super good. I recommend that. I know it's not a food and wine item, but man, we'll definitely begin that again. It was busy in here. I know Pantheon, potentially. Oh yeah. Pantheon so good. Olivia was kind enough to let me use the one-time quick queue. It was great. I got row eight. Definitely a back row coaster. Hopefully I got some good footy. The uh, reverse launch is just stupid into that spike. Really cool. All right, second ride on the aeronauts. We're getting on the dirigible landing. Oh man, they really make us, make us work for it, huh? All right, nobody in line, let's go. The cattle, they're saying hello. Oh, nice, this is one of the best, one of the best lines over here, other than the third leg, which we haven't done. Thank you. Oh! hey -o. Hello. We're in. Goodbye. Cheers. Two, one. I think you guys are gonna clear this the first thing. Five, oh, three, two, one. Five. Yeah, oh, there's our friends. Hey buddy. Hey, Heard you, bud. Oh, Clydesdales. Oh, sheep. Man, this is the best ride in the park. Look at the clouds.
Clydesdale just chilling. That must be Bert. Or Dustin. Big Dustin fan. Oh yeah. This is where it's at. Yeah, geez. I wish you could stay on, do the full loop. Finian's fly, huh? Looking good. Oh Griffin. Griff. We're gonna do L Elron on Loch Ness. Griffin, baby. We got a nice uh, back row ride yesterday, so maybe we'll try and get in the front. The back row just slaps so hard. It goes so hard over that uh, first drop. Nobody in line, look at this, let's go. Late night at Bush. Late night Bush. <laughs> Here we go. Step quickly and carefully into the seats directly in front of you. the beignets oh they were so good last night we had to had to stop again no fire uh the nice griffin backdrop there we go there's just powdered sugar everywhere over here <laughs> skewed looking great red alpi oh yeah let's go it's uh 7 33 park closes at eight trying to get a ride on Alpen guys and Loch Ness Monster. Do you think we can do it? End of the day at Busch Gardens. 30 minutes till park closed, nobody over here. Still running two trains, let's go. Nobody in line, come on. I might have to do the back. The back is crazy intense on this one. Although front row is not too bad. Maybe I'll do the front actually. I'm doing the front. Right, who's riding, what's your names? Abby. Abby. Abby and Serena? Awesome. Let's go. Front row on Alpha Guys. Headbanging. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty intense though. Yeah. All right, first row ride on Alpen guys. We got 15 more minutes. I'm gonna try and get a log nest, but just had the pleasure of riding with some new subscribers. Abby and Serena, that was a lot of fun. I think I got them on the video, but either way, Alpha Guys to the front row is unmatched. 
it whips through the cobra roll ferociously. Uh, yeah, been trying to do the last ride of the night on Loch Ness. Still haven't done it yet. No, I see, you are beautiful. Let's see how you ride though. Hopefully a little bit better than last time. I think they're adding a freestyle machine over here, which is okay, I guess. They used to have a nice little popcorn stand over there, so kind of a downgrade, but that's all right. What else is new? Last ride of the night on Nessie. Here we go. Some new theming in here, which is kind of cool. I definitely don't remember this. The Lake Cruiser. That's what we're getting on, I guess, to find Nessie. Here we go. Man, I'm psyched. It's awesome. People are so hyped about a ride that's like 50 years old. Glad they brought some life into this coaster though, because it deserves it. It's such a classic. Oh yeah, Amy's great. Maybe I'll get in the back of the train here. I think that's where I'm going. Are you guys having a day? 13. All right, let's try it out. You guys don't want to do your random ass goofy theming that looks good. I mean, they should have that from the day. It's all new. It's kind of wild. It's a lot. It looks good. Right off, so let's go find Nessie. Excuse me, man. Yeah. Welcome to Jasmine. Double discovery for you. We found this craft was the sword. Looks like Nessie found him. Alright. Box is the hidden key near the edge of the rock. Kind of a scam. One of the best memories I had growing up was hitting the candy shop after close on the way out, and it's not open. That's really lame, actually. It's 8:08. It's eight minutes after close, and we're right at the front of the park here. Wow, even these. This is close. All right, that's kind of lame. Come on, Bush Gardens. You can do better. Of course, they'll sell you some merch. Why wouldn't they want to make money on candy? That's so weird. I guess maybe employees like they don't want to have keep them later but geez i think the money they would make would offset any of that anyway all right we're heading out of the park we had two i guess a day and a half i guess one full day basically back to back anyway two days at the park here i don't know what was your favorite favorite part of the, the visit park. oh yeah I really well that'll be a separate video park. that's probably coming after this video because oh, i want to get this on first here. spoiler alert yes sorry yeah bg uh, it was just nice to walk around the park and not have like an agenda. We yeah, were just that's definitely like a, a yeah, thing. able to check things out. Perhaps. And we're usually here just for like 24 hours. Yeah. So um, it was nice to kind of spread out the visit. Dude, yeah, food and wine was great. There's just all these little things that make Bush Gardens Bush Gardens that they're yeah. just like chipping away at. And it's Actually, very I, unfortunate. Do you know what I hear was the wolves? Okay. Those nice. were so cool. Nice. You never get to see them. Yeah, that was very cool. That is a that is a nice nice touch that you know they still have the Wolf Haven the Eagles over there. Yeah. But uh. And they were actually like out and interactive. Yeah. It was a good visit. I mean, it was a lot of fun. We discovered a new food item at San Marco over there, the orange chicken. Yes. Um. We found some good good food for food and wine. 
we did pretty much every coaster. Loch Ness Monster is really good. I will say it is probably a good bit smoother. I rode in the second from the back row and it was it was really smooth. I got some airtime over the drop. New theming is really cool. Yeah, I think that, that monster that they added with like the sound effects yeah. is really, really cool. It's just cool for them to reinvigorate a ride like that. I hope um, they have really positive feedback from that renovation. So maybe they'll pump some money into like Pantheon theming, for example, would be really cool. Or just for future attractions, they hopefully will realize yeah. that that's what people want. I mean, like people have come to a theme park for a themed for experience. A theme. They don't just want to get, you can get a Six Flags and wherever else to get it just on roller coasters, but yeah. it's a whole different level when it's like a whole immersive experience like that. So we need like a dark castle. I wish they still kept that ride around, but anyway, great visit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, we'll have some POVs. Yeah, what, you got anything else? So, a beautiful two days. And yeah. Happy we came. Yes, and uh, as Olivia alluded to, we were at Water Country this morning, which was epic. Yeah. Would highly recommend that water park as well. If you're a water park fan, that will be probably the next video. I'll try and get this one out here soon. I've been bad recently. I appreciate y'all bearing with me though. We got plenty more to come. Plenty more this summer. Yes. This is just getting started. But that's it. We're going home. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Later.